Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about cross compiler. So what is a cross compiler? The cross compiler is a compiler that runs on one computer but produces object code for a different type of computer. Right? So in other words, we can say that a cross compiler is a compiler which runs on one machine, right? But it generates a code which is executable on some another machine, right? Now it will be clear after this example. Now consider that there are two machines M and N. The machine language of machine M is denoted by ML and the machine language of machine N is denoted by NL. Right? Now suppose there is a compiler and this compiler runs on machine M. Right? So what this compiler does, this compiler runs on machine M but it generates the code which is executable on machine N. Right? So what happens? This compiler runs on machine M but it translates the source program into language NL. Right? It translates the source program into machine language NL so that it could be executed on machine N. Right? So such type of compiler is called cross compiler. So how we can implement the cross compiler? Right? Now see this example. Right? Same example how we can implement this cross compiler which is running on machine M but it generates the code which is executable on machine N right so now suppose there is a language L right and we have written a compiler in a subset of a language L right and that compiler will translate the language L into machine language NL right and this compiler it runs on machine M right so what happens this compiler which is written in subset of uh, language L and uh, which translates the language L into machine language NL right this compiler should run on machine M right they should run on machine M so what happens this compiler which is written in subset of uh, language L it has to be translated into machine language ML right because it has to be executed on machine M right so what we will do we will write a compiler right we will write a compiler in machine language ML right because machine uh, language ML right if we write a compiler in it that will be executable on machine M right so what we will do we will write a compiler in machine language ML right it will translate this compiler which is a written in subset of language L into machine language ML right so that this compiler which is written in subset of uh, language L it will be executed on machine M right so in this way we can implement this cross compiler right so this compiler will run on machine M but uh, it will uh, translate the language L into machine language NL right it will uh, translate uh, the program into a executable code which can run on machine N 